going on, yo? What's going on? What's going on now? Look carefully at this sign. This is your part. Keep it clean. You notice that, right? This is how you know nigga shit is about. They do anything but. Anything but. As you can see, this garbage right here. And as I give them an extra walk and talk to you guys, this is what I'm talking about. You shouldn't have to rely on anybody. But this is Sunday night and not one recreation person shows up the entire weekend unless there's a special event. So you would think with all these garbage receptors around, there's one over there, if you can see, and the shit is empty almost. That one's over there half full. I can't focus on it. I got a half full one. I got a damn near empty one. And look. Alcoholic drinks is fucking banned in this park or is against the law. That one sign is cut off. But I'm going to show you the full on one right here, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. Come on, Petey. Come on. As you can see. Check it out. Drinking of alcoholic beverages in public parks is a violation of Jersey City Municipal Code Section 18-13. Okay, they don't enforce that. They don't force Jack. And if you can go all the way over there in the middle, you will see that they do nothing but drink over there. And look, as you can see, all the trash scattered about. All the trash scattered about. And look at the garbage receptor. Not even full. Not even full. Because parents don't teach their kids the value stuff in the neighborhood they teach them to be dependent on big daddy government as you can see look all the garbage still right here in the vicinity of a trash receptor you got broken crab legs i don't know what it is about negroes and crab legs look at all this trash. look at this look at it all of that and meanwhile we are expected and demand a new park when we don't even take care of the one we got. Things kicked over. This is all kids doing this too. But you know what? I'm tired of this shit. What's up everyone? This is the next morning, Monday morning. And of course I'm walking the dog here and I just want y'all to get a good idea. Now that there's daylight, you can see what I'm talking about. And this isn't just the black people doing this. Hispanics as well come over here because we in the they you know we live in the same neighborhood. But let's talk about how a lot of them tend to clean up their mess more, which is good. Look at my door going right on the newspaper that a lot of these people leave out here. Look at this. No respect or regard for their own park. And they see that. People see that. And like I said, we can't rely on them to fix up or renovate something that people don't care about. Clearly don't. Look, look, look at this. And even the city takes some blame in this. I had to call one day to get them to come empty this. And as usual, it's back stocked right back up full again right back full again. This is the garbage I'm talking about. This is why neighborhoods lose value. Not just because of the people who leave messes like this. But look at this. I ain't even getting to the meat of what I wanted to show you. I'm making my way there right now. I'm making my way there right now. And I'm so so over this because I grew up and it was not like this. It's just worse. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. See this? This is where kids play. Uh, I'm glad they got the, the common decency to keep at least this part where the smaller kids play at a little cleaner. But look at this shit here. I am not on a Monday morning. It's been like this the whole weekend. These people will sit here and see the, the beer cans, the liquor cans, all of that right here full up. 
And didn't I show y'all last night, the sign says no drinking in the park? Didn't I show y'all that? Right? Well, it is. They don't give a fuck because they don't enforce it. All of this is garbage, man. All of this. This is what frustrates the shit out of me. Then you hear somebody in the background howling because he's high. Look, look at this. Look, 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 look. This is a goddamn shame. Look, we got someone sleeping over there under there. Look at this. We got a tennis court that haven't had tennis in a long time. They strip all of this. Usually, if you walk by a certain part, you can smell human shit because they probably took a dump near the tree and and then late at night it's, it's, it's ridiculous you hear that it's not a bird people that is a fucking fiend high up on shit well see somebody had a party here the other night and as you can see they left a stuff here organized that's good but like I said this park Oh. And look, that's another sign too. It says no barbecue. And they still do that. They, they don't, the, 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 the state, I mean, the city don't give a fuck about this park. And clearly the people don't. And this one big symbiote circle. And I'm like, you know what? It was never like this before. But I'm done with this video right here. See? Shit like this is exactly why gentrification happens in neighborhoods like ours and I am done talking about it until I'm blue in the face of course when people say they're done talking about it that mean they're gonna keep talking about it but it's just becoming old extremely old and I had a conversation with a co-worker about how this park is kept how just how we treat our neighborhoods in general. And he like, oh man, you can't do nothing about that, bro. That's nigga shit. I'm like, there has to be more than it just being nigga shit. All right? And, and before I even continue, don't even think that women are exempt from this. And yes, lately I've been expressing myself against black women but it's not out of hate it's to the point where you have to understand it has to be a mutual share of this blame between black men and women and you think I'm saying a lot no I'm I haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to making up for lost time for all the things that they got away with over the years. It's the same thing. But this is not what this video is about. Let's focus. Look at that park, man. Look how they treat that park. Look how they train and raise their kids to treat that park. And from somebody who's been in this neighborhood for 30 years, I've just seen it just go to the shitter. I mean, now, all the gentrification that happened downtown Jersey City has moved all of that filth into what was already filthy, and it's not getting any better. You know, I was watching Avengers Endgame again, and Tony said it. He said, you know, I wanted to stop this. But that's not what we do. We, we call the Avengers, huh? We, we not the Prevengers. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like we don't prevent shit like this from happening. We don't prevent our own from doing detrimental things to our environment. But you be the first ones in town halls and meetings talking about how bad the neighborhood is. But then again, I turn around and see you down there on a park bench with your kids unsupervised trying to come at my dog 
who I'm warning them to stay away from because if he bites you, the dog is in trouble. I'm in trouble because your little black ass kids don't listen. Okay? But no, you over there on the bench drinking and carrying on. Leaving all of them scattered bottles of, I don't know, all types of cheap liquor mixed with expensive liquor and garbage. And I, like I said, people will come across the street from Kennedy Boulevard and Bergen Avenue, which is on the top and bottom of the park, and drop off their house trash to the receptors. And they'll do that on Friday night if they missed garbage. And guess what? That shit is sitting there for the entire weekend. Flies, maggots, they don't care. And it's not just black people. It's the collective of the people from this neighborhood, which is black, Hispanic, and now even a grown population of, a, of white people. Okay? And the white people's doing it, they're junkies. It ain't no, no, it ain't no civilized or half decent white people that I'm starting to see around here a lot. All the white junkies have moved there. All the yuppie folk live downtown in those overpriced apartments. They don't shit. Some of them don't even have furniture. I know nurses and doctors who live in them, and they focus on the rent. Just to say they live someplace. But no, no, no. Once again, look at this train wreck that I wake up to nearly every morning. Because there's some days when it's clean. And those days are mostly school days. But this is how it looks in the summertime. Hell, this is how it looks going towards the weekend, even when school. The summer is over and school's back in because you have your little kids out here. And I'm talking to the people in Jersey City. I don't even know if they're going to hear it. OK, but anyway, they got their little kids out here carrying on, running amok. Teenagers, kids that shouldn't even be out ranging from the ages of four to fucking 10 years old. And they contribute to. The filth you see. And this is why. Pookie and Ray Ray. Scare away. Regular working everyday black people. Regular every working. Class. Everyday. Every man working class. Black people. Are tired. Of being lump summed. With the. Likes of these niggas. I, I swear. I know I'm tired of it. Even I don't even want to make an effort of trying to make myself look better in the eyes of non-white people. I mean, of non-black people. I don't. I'm not even in the effort for that, because if a person is looking at you and saying you this for that, meaning like, oh wow, he's very well sensitive, well knowledgeable for a black guy. You're not. I don't need you in my cipher. You're not a friend. Okay, don't say nothing, no backhanded shit to me like that. But a person in character was like, yeah, you know, this is my friend, uh, my friend Kareem here. You know, he works at medical center and stuff. I'm going to introduce you to him one day. I show up and stuff and like, yeah, this is my friend Kareem. Hey, how you doing? And if that person that if let's see, let's say, for example, it's a um. My friend Mike, my friend Michael is Italian and Irish. And let's say, for example, he was introducing me to a mutual, like a friend of his. And he didn't disclose that I'm black, okay? And then the friend, like, you know, you hear your friends talking to the guy or the gal or the female that you introdu been introduced to. Like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know he was black. Like, the fuck does that you don't need friends like that this is why i don't try to put on a show for a bunch of people but there's just a point internally there's a point internally when you're just tired of the bullshit you're just done with that. me i'm just done 
I'm done. I don't want to be like, you know what? Look, don't, don't, don't get mad at me. I'm not like them. No, I'm not. I'm not coonistic like that. Yes, I said a made-up word, coonistic. No, I'm like this. I'm just done with it. This is my neighborhood. I've been here for 30 motherfucking years. I shouldn't have to up and leave. If people were tired, sick and tired of living like this, collectively join with me. Let's do something about this. Because nobody's going to fall in line and help and do the stuff that city government, city and government should be doing. Until they see there's a new fucking sheriff in town. Right now, we letting the fucking loonies run the bin. And they they're like, you know what? Why should we fucking do lift a finger to do anything that they're going to destroy? And that's even more for what I said in the video. We should treat shit Collectively as black people We should treat our neighborhoods as if There's no one coming to help And we need to Respect and value our surroundings Otherwise Shit like this is going to keep happening But I digress So because I'm a fury I'm here And now I'm out Peace